Always skirting around. <clears throat> Whatever it was, it's gone. What brings you to this? I'll just take... I do hope it did. Hinderall is dis... 
You are indeed a force to be reckoned with. I have everything I need. Now all that remains is to brew the potion. This, however, is a task with which you cannot assist. Give me 24 hours. I shall have the potion ready for you. Welcome. I have something for The cure you... I'm quite pleased with the results. The batch came out larger than I'd expected. There's enough for two doses of the potion. Unless I'm mistaken, I believe this dose is promised to someone. Should you ever have need of another for personal reasons, I can provide it. Our work here is done. Take care. What do you want? Go ahead. Welcome back. Have... Yes, it seems that you do. Please. The count awaits within. Please. I don't have time for you. Now's not the time, little one. Time grows short. The cure must be administered as soon as... Melisanda has agreed to help revive Rona long enough for her to drink the potion. If you are quiet, you may remain. I can bring her around for a short time. You must be quick. Rona, my dear, it's time to wake up. What? Janice, please, no. Oh, let me sleep. Oh, please let me sleep. It's all right. It's all right. I've come to give you peace at last. I can rest. Truly. Yes, my dear. Just drink this, and it will all be better. Oh, Janice. Thank you. Thank you for saving me. What do you want? Child, this is serious. My wife, my beautiful wife. Now is not the time for discussion. Give me a day's time to set her affairs in order. Speak with High Lurks tomorrow. Please, leave. Please.
What is it? Any time now. Please, wait here. It is good to see you again, my friend. I cannot thank you enough for helping me rescue Rona from the terrible state she was in. I hope that she has found the peace she sought. I'd like to offer you a reward for your efforts. It seems you've been cured of vampirism yourself, so I can offer no help in that regard. I can, however, present you with a sum of money. Thank you again. I shall rest easier now, knowing that Rona no longer suffers. Perhaps you'd better speak with my stu- I'm not listening to you. Make it quick. Thank every little bit helps. For you, of course. Farewell. Are you ready for one la- This is the big one. This is the heist that will be written about and talked about for decades to come. We are going to steal one of the Elder Scrolls from the Imperial Palace. Are you ready for this challenge? There is no buyer. This is for glory, not for money. Our names will become legend. I also have a personal need for this particular scroll. As for your compensation, I ask you to trust me. If my plan works, you will get a reward worth far more than mere money. Will you do it? Capital! I have worked for eleven years planning this heist. Sevilla's stone provided the last bit of information I needed. The Elder Scrolls are kept in the Imperial Palace, behind a door that cannot be breached. Sevilla's stone has revealed a path around this door. You will have to travel the old way. Once used as an escape route for Imperial Emperors, it has been forgotten for centuries. To unseal the entrance, you must sneak into the basement of the palace and activate the Glass of Time, whatever that is. In the Imperial sewers, here is the key for the gate to that section of the sewers, I picked the pocket of Okato himself to get it. My scrying with Sevilla's stone is providing clues, but not the details. I know the tools you will need there, but not the obstacles themselves. The boots of Spring Hill Jack will allow you to leap to an unreachable place. It will also protect you from a long fall. The arrow of extrication is the only way to unlock the final door. Take them both. Once you're inside the palace itself, you need to find the reading room. The blind priests will deliver a scroll to you there. I arranged for the notable Celia Cameron to want to read a particular Elder Scroll. Don't ask how. However, she will be unavoidably detained. You will take her place. Do not speak to the priests. They're blindfolded and will not realize it isn't her, unless you speak. As the Guildmaster, I'm waiving blood price for anyone you kill during this heist. However, I can't stop the watch from putting a price on your head. 
I've written it down for you in this book. I've chosen you because you are the best. Good luck. Keeping your voice down. All citizens are welcome in the Imperial Palace, at least on the first two floors.
Thank <laughs> you.